Hi, I'm Wendy Valencia. My husband Mauricio and I believe that people need to talk more about money. We actually believe that by sharing our budget and how we spend our money each week, people will learn that budgeting is not something to fear and that it can actually be fun. Okay, so fun might be a gross over exaggeration, but it is totally worth it. On a side note, I'm totally scared because whenever we do something like this, Mauricio always takes it as a challenge to see how much money he can actually spend in a week. Maybe I'm not going to tell him that we're doing this, so he won't do that this time. So we start our week out on Saturday and Saturday was kind of a chill weekend. I worked on videos at home and and really the only money we spent was at our local grocery store, Giant. So we are here at our local grocery store and we are going to do the weekly groceries. Probably tomorrow I'm going to run by the farmer's market to get some produce because I do like to support the local farmers. And Miss Melina is with me today because my, her dad needed to get some stuff done. And my best friend, I'm not telling their name, <laughs> um, she's coming over today and we're still going to stay six feet apart. And You're going to play in the backyard. Yeah. I did the weekly shopping. I only go shopping once a week unless there's a dire emergency for something. So I'm shopping for the five of us, me, Mauricio, Melina, and both of my parents. And my parents pay for the Costco trip each month. So I went with Melina, which is usually really dangerous because Melina is like, please, 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 please. And I always end up getting one or two things that aren't on the list just simply because she's there. So I do always go to the grocery store with a list and I have my list in Cozy and you can see it right here. And so I'm gonna put a link down in the description box for Cozy. Cozy is like the best family planning app ever and I actually did a whole video on it. It is phenomenal. So I said we stay on the list but there's always one exception and that is the discount bakery shelf because they're they have a little shelf that's like right around the corner from the bakery and they put day-old bread and day-old donuts and all the day-old stuff there and it's usually 50 percent off so i always check out that shelf and if there's bread i go ahead and buy it if i think it's something we'll eat every once in a while i might buy a dessert on this particular day there was a cake on there which i did not get but I try and buy our bread from there and then I just throw it in our deep freezer and then we have bread and I just pop it in the oven and it heats up and you would never know it wasn't fresh. On this particular day I had intended to only buy two 12 packs of diet root beer but they were having a buy two get two free so I went ahead and got all four because why wouldn't I? So the total that we spent on this small amount of food was $229.86. So I'm wondering, you see my list, you see what we needed, does this seem reasonable to you? Because I feel like this is almost double what these groceries would have cost a year ago. So that brings our total for Saturday to $229.86. Then on Sunday, we decided to go to the farmer's market. This was like our first family outing in months and it was crazy hot. Melina complained about her mask the entire time. I mean, I was happy to get out and I did want to start going to the farmer's markets like I usually do because I enjoy the farmer's markets. They inspire me to eat healthy. They make me happy. I love farmer's markets. So I generally, they're not always the cheapest solution, but they are the freshest and they do support local farmers. So I'm, I'm okay with spending a little extra money there. So I got three bags of vegetables for $31. And then I got a small tray of Turkish vegetable boric, which I love. And that was $9 and that'll make two lunches for me. And then we went ahead and grabbed a quick lunch and we ate empanadas there and they were three for $10. So this whole little outing cost us $50. But then we decided to hit Colstone on the way home and that was $23.88 and I left a cash tip of $5. Mauricio got a chocolate mixture with lots of chocolate in it. Melina got the grossest ice cream ever. It was cotton candy ice cream with M&Ms and gummy bears. 
me, I like simple ice cream. So I just got their, you know, plain sweet cream vanilla with Oreos in it. And it was melting everywhere. So I actually ended up throwing mine away because it was just making me miserable with sticky hands and thinking about the virus. And it, sure, we had used, you know, hand sanitizer, but it was kind of oogieing me out. So the total for the day was 73.88. And that brings us to Monday. So on Monday, I logged on first thing in the morning into my budget and I was charged $14.99 for my monthly Audible subscription. And so as I've told you all a million and one times, Audible is like my salvation right now. And I just finished Runaway by Harlan Coben, which was, fairly predictable, but I really enjoyed it. It's, it was a nice brainless read. And now I'm reading The Party and it is frighteningly realistic up to this point, about halfway through it, about what could happen to teenagers, which I'm kind of regretting <laughs> reading it right now, but we'll see how it goes in the end. I actually hope something drastic happens in the end and we all live happily ever after, which I have a feeling is not gonna be the way this book ends but I'm hoping that'll be the way the book ends because I don't want depressing right now. So you know I'm a big book person. Do you guys have any great book recommendations? Leave me a note down in the description, or down in the description box, down in the comments, because I am always looking for new books. So then also on Monday, Melina and the nanny wanted to go to this like Zufari sort of thing and it's a walking tour and then you can get in your own vehicle and drive usually they have like a big bus that you get on and the animals come up and like stick their noses in the window but right now you can drive your car through melina loved it so it's twenty dollars for adults and twelve dollars for kids it's like five dollars a container of whatever feed so carrots lettuce or bottles of milk each one's five dollars so the grand total for that was 76.32 which brings our total for monday to 91.31 then on tuesday i got up i started working on my computer as i always do it was around 4 10 4 30 or whatever and i have a note on the dry erase board on my computer that says clorox and that's all it says and it's there to remind me to look on amazon every single day for clorox wipes because at some point they're going to be available and we are down to the dregs now i have gotten one i got one container last week doing this so i try and log on every day at four because they seem to release them overnight i don't i feel like i shouldn't tell anybody that it's like a big secret so when they do release some amazon fresh allows you to get one canister so i was super excited and i went ahead and ordered one and then i also threw in several packs of flour tortillas because my parents had asked me to get them and so I just went ahead and got them because they had the brand that I really like. One thing y'all should know about me is that in normal circumstances, I'm a germaphobe. And that has been that way since I took microbiology in college. But holy cow, I'm like off the deep end freaking about germs right now. So one of the things Mauricio and I have discussed is that we would like to move to having a two month supply of certain things on hand. And right now our stores are pretty disorganized, but um, stores like storage is pretty disorganized, but I would like to be able to walk into a pantry and see two months worth of toilet paper and two months worth of all of my cleaning supplies. And I feel like this is completely reasonable to do because I do it for my hair products. Why wouldn't I do it, you know, for everything else? So with the Amazon Fresh, I did have to pay a $5 delivery fee because it was under $35, but I gotta say it was totally worth $5 for Clorox wipes. I probably would have paid the $5 just to get the Clorox wipes. And that was a total of $26.74. And I know all of you are like, you got Clorox wipes and tortillas for $26.74. First of all, there were four large packs of tortillas because I threw them in the fridge or in the freezer. And... So there were two packs for upstairs in the kitchen and two packs for my parents also. And then one canister plus a $5 tip for the Amazon guy and then the $5 delivery fee. So it's not as, it is bad for two items. Yeah, 
$26.74. And then I gave a $25 donation to a former coworker who is struggling with funeral expenses for her mother. And then we had our $150 non-refundable application fee to one of the private schools. And, and I did a video all about the school situation here and how much it's gonna cost. And then there was a $5 in cash for the ice cream man, because my husband is a sucker. He can't resist Melina's cute little face, and she totally plays him every single time. So the total for Tuesday was $206.74, and that brings us to Wednesday. And as I mentioned, every morning I log on and do my budget first thing, four o'clock in the morning every day, and the following things were auto-charged, $270 for my storage unit, Hey, did you know I have a storage unit? People have actually stopped asking me about it because I've gotten so sarcastic about my storage unit. So, and then we had 170.81 for our cell phones and 35.81 for Mauricio's life insurance, all char auto charged in the last 24 hours. And then I ordered a four pack of Dove deodorant on Amazon, which Mauricio lectured me about for 20 minutes. He's like, what's with all the Amazon boxes? And I'm like, it's deodorant. It's cheaper. Are you really saying that in one of your videos? Yes, I really am, because you were lecturing me nonstop. So normally the Dove deodorant, I get the cucumber scented one, but this one was actually $4 cheaper. So I went ahead and got the like sheer or whatever it was. It, it was $14.09 for the four pack. And then later, I use that actually for this business. And normally, I have all my business payments paid differently than out of my main checking account, but I set up this account like years ago and I knew I would be canceling it. So I never bothered to switch it to the business account. And so canceling that is gonna save me $19 a month, sort of, cause I'm using something else in this place. It's a little bit cheaper. It's closer to $10 a month. I'm not gonna take it totally off the list simply because I gotta make sure it's actually been taken off. Generally, when I cancel something, I leave it in the budget for a month or two after afterwards just in case they don't cancel it when I tell them to. And then I send them an email explaining how, here's the original email where you confirmed that we were canceling, please give me my money back. And I said I was switching to something else. So I'm gonna be using Tailwind instead of Later, which I'm really, I've already started using it and I really, really like it a lot. But that is an annual expense rather than a monthly expense. And speaking of annual expenses, if you wanna sign up for my bi-weekly newsletter, you get this amazing freebie, which is a pretty printable, a PDF and an Excel spreadsheet to help you remember all your upcoming expenses. This is the same system that I actually use myself and I can't tell you how many times it saved me from forgetting something like a birthday or holiday or tire rotations, professional cleaning of our ice maker, Amazon Prime, our Costco membership. I even put in Cole Hahn and Brooks Brothers annual sales into my spreadsheet. So in case we wanna get something at one of those, we have money in there. Bless you. So I'll put a link for that down in the description box if you wanna sign up for that. It's totally free and you can cancel it if my newsletters annoy you. I do try and write about something totally separate in there and I have some ideas for things that I wanna do in the future for those kind of things that are special just for people who have signed up already. So, you know, it should be pretty fun. I like it, I enjoy having a newsletter. And then you can email me back and I'll answer you. So then on that day we had a small birthday lunch out with one of Mauricio's co-workers and we're in Virginia, we're here in phase three. So we have some restaurants open, limited seating, mostly outdoor seating right now. And of course it was outside and it was hotter than Hades out there. So did you know some of the restaurants are charging a dine-in fee now? Yep, $5 a person. And so we picked up our tab, my tab, Mauricio's tab, and the birthday boy's tab for a total of $91.53. So the total for the day is a whopping $582.24. And that brings us to Thursday. So on Thursday, I gave $50 in cash to the nanny for Melina's last day with her. Melina was like super upset and I'm kind of talking low cause she's not too far out and I don't want to stir up any emotions. So we wanted them to do something special. So they, they've been doing tons of arts and crafts. So they went to Michael's and then got whatever they wanted. And then they went to Chick-fil-A 
and then they went and got ice cream. How they did all three of those things on $50, I'll never know. So on this day, we did pay the nanny for a total of $1,000 for the week, but that includes our $250 for the month coming up uh, to do our laundry for the whole month. And she's still gonna be doing our laundry even though she's not gonna be Melina's nanny anymore, which is awesome. And then Mauricio and I watched a movie on Apple TV for a total of $3.99. And that brings our total for Thursday to $1,053.99. On Friday morning, I logged on and the following things were charged overnight. Mauricio's parking for work, which is $90. We had a $119 charge at Home Chef. And hey, while I'm thinking about it, I actually have three free boxes to give away if anybody wants to try it. Email me at wendy at wendyvalencia.com. And the first three people to email me, I'll send you a free box. So you don't have to do anything, you just order what you want and they send it to you, try it out. Hopefully it'll work great for you, but you don't have to continue. It's not like you're obligated, you just try it and then it's free, but you must cancel it as soon as you order, like within a couple of days, or you will get your next auto shipment. So just be forewarned. You can cancel, you can try it and get a whole, it's like a, you know, three big meals worth of food. That's pretty awesome. And then I got the Clorox wand. I had to buy more toilet cleaner things. So I had used the Clorox one in the past and I really liked it and I was gonna spend money on toilet bowl cleaner. So I decided to go ahead and get the, the Clorox cleaner scrubber things. And so it's, it's just less gross to me. You know, you use the scrubber, you pop it off into the trash. You don't have to touch anything. It's much easier, much, much, much better. I'm just totally grossed out by toilet brushes and I'm constantly pouring bleach over it. And because bleach is like liquid gold right now, I don't want to waste the bleach for a toilet bowl, a uh, toilet bowl brush. So that whole set, I got 36 refills plus a wand, the stand and six starter was 2212. And so that should actually last me like eight months. I, I should be fine with that. I, um, I don't, I, we clean our toilets about once, twice a week, not every day, obviously. So the grand total for Friday is $231.12. And the total for the whole week is $2,474.14. And we actually made it through an entire week without Mauricio going crazy and spending money like an insane person. If you want to see a day in my life where I go over first thing in the morning going over my budget, I'm gonna put that video right up over here. Plus you'll get to see how Mauricio likes to torture me with my coffee pods every morning. <laughs> now I gotta go for a run so I'll see you in the next one.